Hello there puzzle friends, so we're here today again with another video about jigsaw puzzles and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, jigsaw puzzle difficulty what that means um, not all the jigsaw puzzles are of the same difficulty and how can you expect a jigsaw puzzle to be difficult or easy for that matter before you actually buy it, before you actually start puzzling well, there are some factors that are very important when it comes to the puzzle difficulty and uh, first and foremost are the number of the pieces. So, let's say for example you have this one, this jigsaw puzzle. Uh, this one is from New York Puzzle Company. As you can see it's 500 pieces, which means the less the pieces, the easier the puzzle. If you have 1000 pieces, it will be much more difficult than this one if it was the same shape, the same picture. Uh, that is uh, for that is something that is um, for everybody. For everybody, the less the pieces, uh, the easier the jigsaw puzzle. When it comes to pieces, there are also two things that you may take in account. One is uh, the type of the cut, as I have already said on the channel, there are two main types of um, cuts and there are some uh, that are between these cuts. One is the ribbon cut, which is the typical that you find in European puzzles, such as uh, Schmidt, uh, Eurographics, Falcon, Jumbo, all these are ribbon cuts, as we say, this is the, jigsaw, the typical jigsaw puzzle you will probably expect or you will see in a picture or something like this and the random or smart cut which are more random as the as the name suggests or more uh, puzzles that are the shapes are very unique some people think that the uh, random count is very much more difficult I said it very well they are much more difficult than the ribbon cuts, it may be, it may not be the case. But apart from the pieces, there is also something else that's uh, the, the how many pieces, the big the pieces, the bigger the pieces it's easier. And um, from the type of pieces there is also something else that plays a major role in difficulty. And that's actually the main theme of this uh, video today. Uh, having that said, this is something that's somewhat subjective. There are some main rules, some rule of thumbs, but uh, they are kind of different for each person with because each person has different uh, perspectives, each person has uh, different Fähigkeiten, um, different, uh, yeah, different capacities, different capabilities. This one, as I said, is a very easy puzzle. It's because of the number of the pieces. The pieces are also a bit, little, a little bit bigger. But also, as you can see, it has many distinct shapes. Here is one distinct shape. This is something else. This is something else. This is not the easiest puzzles you can do, but it's one of the easy ones. Uh, then you may say, yes, but this looks somewhat like this one. Well, it actually does, but if you get on the actual puzzle itself, you will see differences between these two, for, for example. Uh, let's go to another jigsaw puzzle. I leave it here so you can see. This is another jigsaw puzzle, um, which, as you can see, is 1000 pieces. Also, we expect it to take more time to be a little more difficult than this one, and because all of the pieces are regular size, these are somewhat bigger. This is actually one of the ribbon cuts I said. Uh, is this a difficult or an easy puzzle apart from the pieces? Uh, this uh, I suggest that it would be an easy jigsaw puzzle because as you also can see the colors are very bright and there are some distinct shapes in the picture. Uh, this one for example the arches are very distinct, you will find them very quickly in the batch of pieces inside. Uh, the sky, which most of the times is very difficult because there are 
may, not many pieces cons uh, that, are pa that are in the sky. It's something that you will make quick. Uh, here on the field you can find a direction of the pieces, also you know the species goes this way and not this way for example. Yes, it may go this way, but you have then again you have two um, two possibilities, not four possibilities, or more, or much more when it comes to ribbon cuts, uh, to ribbon cuts, to smart cuts. Excuse me. This one has also somewhat parts that are difficult, which are some. For example, this one, uh, the the trees or the smoke or something that is more abstract so to say because you cannot see the direction of the pieces you are not sure of this goes there this goes where uh, then you have to go on the hues of the of the colors uh, some people that's why I said in uh, earlier on some people are very good at, at identifying these uh, hues some are not so good I do remember I did a jigsaw puzzle, there were uh, four dolphins in this puzzle, although it was uh, an underwater scene, uh, and there was a dolphin that was uh, out of the water. This dolphin, I did, this uh, jigsaw puzzle, there was somewhat someone that was not puzzling with me, but uh, he, it came by. And he found immediately the pieces that were the dolphin that was outside of the water because, as he said, uh, this was purple and the other were blue. They were not much distinct to my eyes, but he found them immediately. That's why I said it's somewhat um, subjective, what's easy and what's not. Because I have seen on, vi on videos on YouTube that they say that uh, um, these jigsaw puzzles that have one color that goes from red to green to blue, uh, you know what I mean, this, um, I don't remember now the word, how it's called, uh, these jigsaw puzzles that are the easiest jigsaw puzzles that you can make. Yeah, it may be the case if you are good at identifying these hues of colors. If that's not your forte, so to say, they may be somewhat difficult. For example, this one is also a jigsaw puzzle that's a little more difficult. Yes, it's the same pieces, they're the same size. But, here as you can see, there's nothing distinct. You may, uh, good, you may make this um, shields, this uh, coat of arms and stuff like this or you may do the letters this will be very quick to make but then if you get inside yes this is somewhat green this is uh, somewhat brown yeah but uh, what are we going to do afterwards it's something of a challenge somewhat of a challenge this one particularly, it will help you if you know something of the geography of Germany, in this example. Or, it will help you if you look the map of uh, Germany. There are many jigsaw puzzlers that believe that it's a challenge and I will make this jigsaw puzzle without looking the box. Of course, the box is something that will help you. If you do want to do this challenge or not, it's up to you. It's, there are no rules there. The game is yours and you decide the rules. Uh, well, uh, if you think this is the um, most difficult or one of the most difficult jigsaw puzzles, I have got you there. I do have something that is much more difficult. And this one, for example, it's on the same number of pieces, well, here, on the same number of pieces, Something like this. It's uh, it's a jigsaw puzzle that's uh, only black and white, which means you cannot make any categories of it. You can not do such stuff like this, and there are not particular patterns on this one because there are some uh, black and white jigsaw puzzles but they have a building you know this is the, the part of the building you know this is a part of a river or a, something like this but 
this is not the case in this one I haven't done this one as you can see it will be done in the future here in the channel uh, but I do expect this to be one of the much the more difficult puzzles I do suggest that it will take much more time than it uh, usually does on a, on a 1000 scale uh, but still it I found it interesting and as a kind of a collector so to say I thought it uh, it's not fun let's try this uh, and then I have the last one that I wanted to show you today when it comes to difficulty this one is a 2000 piece puzzle here 2016 piece puzzle this actually is a jigsaw puzzle that came from Japan that I bought originally from Japan uh, it may look easier than this one on one hand it is somewhat easier on the other hand it's not that easier first things first it's uh, double the pieces and that means it's more difficult second thing that uh, it may be 2000 pieces but uh, when you it's fully completed the dimensions are somewhat the same as uh, 1000 pieces they are a little bit bigger because they are from japan uh, bigger means these are somewhat smaller than 50 times 70 centimeters uh, in europe the jigsaw puzzles that are made in europe this one would be 50 times 75 centimeters as you can see there's not much of a difference there that means that the pieces are somewhat of half of the size making them extra difficult in compared to the regular size and then it comes to the picture here is a beautiful picture from athens acropolis uh, and parts of the Athens here in Discavitos and so on. Why do I believe this jigsaw puzzle is difficult? Actually, as you can see, I have done it, so I can tell it is difficult. I don't have to guess if that is difficult or not. Uh, here, the parts here, you will probably do um, in the beginning, they are not that of difficult. Also, the Parthenon, maybe the the walls and stuff like this, maybe Herodian, this will be not that of a difficult. The greenery, the trees and stuff like this, yes, uh, there you may have some issues. And then we come to the very difficult part of the jigsaw puzzle, this one, which is the sky. You may see some clouds there or something like this. Um, so it's not one color or something like this, but it's, uh, as I said, the pieces were small and it was somewhat a little less than half of the pieces. Also, let's say 900 pieces, 900 pieces consisting of sky, of stuff that you cannot uh, see. Ah, this goes immediately there, this goes immediately there. Then again, um, it's as I said before, maybe if you gave it to someone who has a very good um, detection of the hues of colors or something like this, it will be very much faster or very much easier for him. But for me, it was very difficult and I actually did, it did take to me the same amount of time or more to do the sky as I did the rest of the puzzle. This one took me around one week or so, or something like this. And I stood up all night to do the last part of it uh, because I wanted to, I had a, something like a deadline, so to say, and I wanted to finish it. So the last part I did, and I was kind of exhausted. Still, if you see the final result, uh, it is uh, really worth the amount of um, struggle you put in there, so to say. And this is one a jigsaw puzzle that I would not very easily do again, so it's one of the ones I glued. And it's on my wall. 
that was uh, more or less about the difficulties of the puzzles I do hope you found some useful information in there I do hope it may help you by choosing puzzles if you're somewhat unsure of a puzzle if a puzzle uh, is difficult or not difficult or something like this also this you probably suggest it will be very difficult and some jigsaw puzzles that are that have um, let me see if I have one to show you uh, that have many information in, in them and people think oh it has so, many, so much information it will be very very difficult I will never make it it's not always the case let's see this one for example this also is a miniature pieces also it's difficult 1000 pieces but you see there are a lot of stuff happening in there but if you actually puzzle this you will immediately find the pieces of the Sagrada Familia or the buildings in Park QL you will spot them immediately this is a specific specific type of pattern this is the pattern of Casa Mila and stuff like this also you will distinguish them uh, quickly if you are experienced so uh, you get the point this one for, for example uh, would be easier than one that has one consisting pattern such as this that was it for me from today I believe I detect the time and it took a lot about the difficulties today but it's then again it's a, a, a very big issue a very big theme one can say a lot about the difficulties but I think I have said enough for today if you do have another techniques or if you find something else that's uh, plays a very big role in the difficulty of a jigsaw puzzle or stuff like this you are always feel welcome to write it in the comments and I will be gladly happy to answer you if it is to my capabilities Thank, that's it for me for today thanks again for watching happy puzzling stay safe and until next time